Hi, this is Justin from Jar Productions. In this video, I want to share with you 16 awesome things that you probably didn't know you could do with Adobe InDesign and interactivity. Some of these things will be involving N5, and some of them will work with the native InDesign export formats, including Fixed Layout PDF and Adobe's Publish Online. So I'll put an indicator on screen for each one so you know which formats support these items. Did you know that you can create custom navigation buttons in InDesign? When you add a button, there's all kinds of actions that you can add to it. You can go to the first page, last page. You can navigate between buttons, specific pages. You can go to bookmarks. All of this lets you create navigation that looks exactly the way you want it to. And as a bonus, you don't have to write any code for that navigation to work. Did you know that you can add video right into InDesign? All you have to do is go up to File and place it just like any other format, just like an image, and place an MP4, and it'll work in all of these formats. With N5, you have additional controls. You can have the video play in the background. You can mute it so that it will effectively autoplay even around browser restrictions. You can have it trigger a multi-state object, a state, so that something happens at the end of the video. So there's a lot of different control. But bottom line is, all these formats support video, so you can include it in your documents just like it's a static element, but now you've actually got video. You can also insert YouTube video because it's embedded HTML, and InDesign lets you do that. In fact, InDesign's smart enough that if you have HTML in your clipboard and you try and paste, it will insert the embedded HTML on the page, and that will work in all the formats we're looking at in this video. So not only can you include YouTube videos, videos from Vimeo, you could put Google Maps, you could put a Twitter feed, you can put custom animations, all of this just by inserting code. And InDesign also lets you place an OAM file, just like an image file, but this can contain advanced animation created with Adobe Animate or Tumult Hype. Speaking of animation, did you know you can create some really cool animation just in InDesign? And all you have to do is select a preset from the dropdown, and then you can customize it. And people are creating some fantastic animation with InDesign. It doesn't work in a PDF, but it does work in an EPUB, in Publish Online, and in 5. And you can hack together a slideshow using a sequence of animations, and that'll work in Publish Online or Fixed Layout EPUB. But N5 also has an interactive widget that lets you turn any multi-state object into a slideshow. And then you can actually have advanced controls of it, and you can have it autoplay. And you can even have the interaction stop the autoplay, etc. So it's a full-on slideshow. Without you coding, you get to control all of it visually in InDesign. Speaking of interactive widgets, you can also add a scrolling frame. Now, this is a free extension from a jar. We make this specifically for N5, so it's the best output, but it also happens to work in Fixed Layout EPUB and Publish Online. And all you have to do is paste content into a container and then turn it on and it makes it scrollable. Do you know you can also create pop-ups, so things that appear on top of other items, and that's using the magic of a multi-state object. All you have to do is have an empty state to start with, and then you can create a uh, partially transparent overlay and content on top of it. You can have a close button. So you can have all kinds of interactivity inside of this pop-up. And again, you're doing this visually in InDesign without coding. Speaking of multi-state objects, you can also use them to create really cool interactive menus. You don't even have to use the hide show features of buttons, which can get really messy. You can have different states that have different menus inside. So you can have an open and closed state for the menu. You could even have drop-down menus uh, for multiple items across the top bar, all kinds of things you can do using multi-state objects combined with buttons. One thing you can do specifically with multi-state objects in N5 is that you can turn a two-state object into a 3D flip card. Just by opening the 3D flip card interactive widget, you can turn it on and have it rotate vertically or horizontally and then it will flip around with a tap. This will also work with slideshow features, so you can have them flip around automatically. You can have clickable content inside of there because these are multi-state objects and N5 piggybacks on that great InDesign functionality. If you're looking to export a flipbook with a page peel effect directly from InDesign, you can do it with N5. N5 lets you export a flipbook with a single option in the export, and then in the output, 
you have a flipbook. It looks like a magazine, but it's digital. And you created it directly from InDesign, so it takes advantage of all the interactivity in InDesign, unlike an online flipbook creator, which accepts a PDF, and then you have to create interactivity on top of it. And this way, you just stay in InDesign, and you're working from there. Did you know you can use InDesign for prototyping? Yeah, so all of these interactive features that we're talking about, they can be used to create prototypes. Now, you might make your artwork so it looks like wireframes or some kind of rough sketch, but all of those features can be used to create a finished product or a prototype. And it has most of the features that you would expect in all of the major prototyping tools. You can also create presentations with InDesign when you're using In5. Now, there are a couple different ways to create a presentation. You can do it right from InDesign. You can export to a PDF and go in presentation mode. But if you export with In5, you can use its presentation mode to do all kinds of things, like you can have keyboard navigation or click navigation to move through. You can take advantage of InDesign's native animation, which you can't do in a PDF or in the InDesign presentation mode. You can have interactivity in your presentation. You can have your presentation autoplay. You can have it autoplay and wait for video on a slide and then automatically continue autoplaying. And you can create awesome custom transitions between slides. Okay, this one is a biggie. You can create responsive layouts. This is only available in N5 and it builds off of InDesign's alternate layouts feature. So you might even know that InDesign has an alternate layouts feature, but it lets you do this thing in the pages panel where you create layouts in parallel and they're different sizes. And you can essentially duplicate a layout and then start adjusting it. You can have separate styles for that second or third or fourth layout and you can edit them independently but also have some things linked together if you want to and essentially you have these parallel layouts. Well N5 lets you export all of those layouts together as one project and then the layout as you scale the size of the browser window it swaps between the layouts. It will even hold the current page that you're on so it, it doesn't affect the experience. So with this feature, you can create responsive magazines, you can create responsive mobile apps, you can create all kinds of responsive things. And did you know that you can create a responsive website? This is actually three items that I've lumped into one. One is just the format itself. In5 lets you export your pages with no space between them stacked on top of each other so that as you scroll, the pages look like one continuous item. And within the pages, you can have on-page load animations that trigger, so they work like scroll triggered animations. And you can use the fix positioning widget in N5 to fix things to the top, like a menu you don't want to move as it's scrolling, or fix things to the bottom, like maybe a go back to top button or something similar. And within your scrolling website, you can have parallax images thanks to another N5 feature. So you can have a fully functioning scrolling website that is also responsive with fixed position items that detach from the pages and stay at a particular place in the window, parallax images that stay in place as you scroll, and it really creates a fully functional experience including background video, scroll triggered animations. So it's quite an experience that you can create in InDesign. Kind of crazy, right? Now this isn't an exhaustive list of all the cool interactive things that you can create with InDesign. I'm curious what you think I missed. What are the other types of interactivity that you've created with InDesign? Please let me know in the comments. And if you're wanting to learn more about how to create these interactive items, check out our free course. The URL is on screen and in the description. And we also have a membership site with over a dozen video courses that shows you how to create all of this stuff in detail. In fact, some of the clips you've seen on screen come from those courses. So be sure to check that out if you're interested in going really deep on interactive InDesign. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please give it a like if you found it helpful. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more things like this. And I hope to see you in another video soon.